There are many ways critics try to explain away the early Christians' claim that Jesus rose from the dead. One way is to say they hallucinated. Another is to say that the disciples were like the boy in the movie The Sixth Sense who says, I see dead people. <laughs> but there's one detail that these sorts of objections fail to consider, the empty tomb. Here are a couple of reasons why we think Jesus' empty tomb is a matter of history. First, if the early Christians were merely hallucinating, or the appearances of Jesus were merely visions, but then skeptics could have easily produced the body since it's reasonable to think they would have known the location of Jesus' tomb. Surely, the guards ordered to watch the tomb would have known the location. Moreover, Jesus was a popular preacher and was placed in a tomb that belonged to Joseph of Arimathea, a member of the Sanhedrin. So, skeptics would have had no problem proving the tomb was not empty and falsify the claim that Jesus rose from the dead. But of course, this didn't happen. Second, the empty tomb is attested to by six different sources that range in dating from six to 60 years after the reported event, which for ancient literature is gold. For example, we have Paul's creedal formula in 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 5, which dates to six years after the alleged event. Paul says Jesus was buried and raised, which implies the tomb was empty. Mark's account of the empty tomb comes from source material that scholars date to seven years after the event. Matthew and Luke's account, along with Luke's record of Peter preaching the resurrection in Acts 2, are right at 30 years removed. And finally, John's Gospel makes for a sixth independent source, which dates to approximately 60 years after the event. Since the skeptics never produced the body, and the empty tomb narrative meets the criteria of multiple attestation and early testimony, we can confidently judge as a matter of historical inquiry that Jesus' tomb was empty as the New Testament records. As to why it was empty, the early Christians said he rose from the dead. And since we have good reason to believe they weren't lying, we can trust their testimony and profess Jesus has risen from the dead. Can I get a hallelujah? If you want to learn more about this topic and others like it, visit our website at catholic.com. And also, visit catholicanswerspeakers.com to learn how you can bring me out to speak at your event. For Catholic Answers, I'm Corlo Broussard. Thanks for watching.